Imagine how much money you'd make if you could see exactly what people are searching for on TikTok and then provide them with a solution or sell them a solution via a video. Well, that's exactly what you could do with TikTok's latest update in their creator insights tool. So step number one to ranking on search is making sure that you're using this tool. But I do have some good news and some bad news when it comes to using this tool. The bad news is right now it is only available if you search for it on a mobile app. In the future, it will show up in your creator insights tool and hopefully they have a desktop application for this because it's going to be a a lot easier to actually do searches and to keep a list of things that you might actually want to do. The good news is that they're paying creators extra money if you rank for search right now because ranking for search is one of the most valuable things that you could possibly do. In fact, more than 50% of people under the age of 35 come to TikTok to do a search as opposed to going to YouTube or going to Google. So if you can make your business show up there or make your content show up there, it's going to be incredibly valuable. Instead of forcing your content onto people, you're going to have people coming to you looking for exactly what you're providing them. So here's how you actually use the tool. The first thing that you have to do is actually log on to TikTok. You need to bring up the search results, do a search for creator search insights, and then you're going to see it. Now from here, I'm going to show you a bunch of different things that you could do. For example, there's for you and there's also trending. In addition to that, you can click into different things and you can see related video, related searches and how the search popularity is changing over time. On top of that, if you come and do a search for something, for example, I'm going to do a search for six pack abs, but unfortunately I don't know how to spell. Now here we go, six pack abs. Now what you're going to see is you're going to see a bunch of different searches that show up and you're going to be able to click into one of these or save them and you'll actually be able to see what the related videos are, how many views are getting and then also related searches. This is going to allow you to see how many potential views you could get if you created a piece of content for this. Here are a bunch of videos that show up under the abs thing. What you're going to notice is that all of them say abs or they say core exercise or flat stomach in the hook, in the description, and in the hashtags. On top of that, you can come into For You, you can look for content gaps, aka things that people are searching for, but there's not actually any content being made under them. And as you could see here, there's a huge spike on these days. And then you can come into trending and you can filter this based off of your niche. You could do it for fashion, you could do it for food, you could do it for gaming, you could do it for so many different things, and you're gonna be able to rank quicker for search. Now, if we click in right here, what you're going to see is this thing called search performance factors. And essentially, this is going to highlight for you exactly what you need to be doing in your content. So if you wanna maximize your search performance, you need to make sure that you're looking for stuff on the Creator Search Insights tool to see what people are actually searching for. You need to make sure that you select a topic, aka recommended topic, which you can get more views and more engagement, and you also need to make sure that your video is actually solving somebody's problem. This right here is by far the most important thing, because if you're not solving somebody's problem, well, guess what? They're not going to watch your piece of content, and then as a result, they're going to end up clicking away. You're not going to get the engagement that you actually need to rank for search, and there are a few more factors that I'm going to share with you later in this video that make a huge difference. For example, you need to make sure that you're using the right sounds, you need to make sure you're using the right hashtags, and you have the right text on your screen. If you think that you should be putting text on the screen and putting it off to the side, you're making a massive mistake. So let's actually go into the basics of everything that you have to do to rank for search. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to go quicker on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, or you want to learn how to monetize these platforms, I literally upload a video every single day about how to do that. In addition to that, I just created a free TikTok growth course. You can get it the pinned comment below. It's going to share with you things like the best time to post on TikTok, the best hashtags to use, and so much more. It's literally 100% free. So what are you waiting for? Go to that pinned comment below. So when it comes to actually getting your video to rank for search, there are essentially three different factors that you need to make sure that you're playing on. The first one is whatever the search term is, it needs to show up as the hook on the screen. And you shouldn't just have it word for word, you should have something ultimately that makes somebody curious or that lets them know that they're about to learn something. For example, if we go back to the beginning of this video, I told you that you can make a ton of money ranking for search, which obviously you already want to rank for search because you clicked on this video, but I made it even more enticing and then I got straight into it. You need to do the same exact thing in your content. If somebody is searching for how to get six pack abs, they don't want to hear about who you are. They don't want to hear about your day. They don't want to hear about anything like that. They want to learn how to get six pack abs. And that is the type of content that ultimately is going to get views. And now when you do a search for something, you're going to see all the related videos. And then guess what you could do? You can click into them, write out what their title is, write out what their description is, write out what hashtags they use, and even write out the length of the piece of content because this is going to have a huge factor 
factor in whether or not you can rank for search. And what I would strongly recommend that you do is try both a video that is around the same length as the other videos ranking for search and a video over one minute long. Because here's the deal. TikTok right now is trying to force viewers to watch content that is over one minute long. We're gonna see a huge push when it comes to desktops and things like that with TikTok. And I bet the TikTok is gonna break out to look more like YouTube where you can actually have a search function and it'll be a lot easier to find videos via search. So you wanna make sure that you get ahead of that and that you're creating both long form and short form content. Because here's the deal. Not everybody is going to get shown the same exact content when they do a search. Because some people might wanna find a solution in 10 seconds. Some people might find a solution in 10 minutes, and both of those things are valuable to TikTok, so TikTok is going to push both of those depending on which classification the person that is doing this search falls into. So if I do a search for six-pack abs, I might see different videos than what you would see if you did a search, but ultimately, they're just going to change the order of how those show. It's still going to be those same, you know, two, it's still going to be those same 10 to 12 videos that we're getting views. It's just going to change based off of how they actually show. On top of that, what you need to take into consideration when it comes to ranking for search is the thumbnail that you have. Because if you don't have a good thumbnail and your competitor has a good thumbnail, they're gonna end up ranking for search over you because they're going to get a higher click. So the two factors that really matter when it comes to your analytics are gonna be one, the click-through rate that you're getting, and two, the finish rate that you're getting. Those are the two most important things when it comes to ranking for search, but then there is one other thing you need to be focused on, which is the description and the hashtags. You need to make sure the description and the hashtags both have the keyword that you're trying to rank for. If they don't, it's going to be a sign to TikTok that your video might not actually be relevant for that search and they're gonna be hesitant to push it out. So please, just make sure that you add that in there. And then at this point, all you have to do is actually create content and try to get it to rank for search. What I would strongly recommend that you do, you should come up with a list of the 12 to 15 best searches that you should be ranking for in your niche. You should create several pieces of content off that. You're going to see whether or not your content ranks for search. And if it doesn't, just create a new version and try to create better content. At the end of the day, that's all you need to do to rank for search. And remember the mentality when somebody does a search for something. They're looking for a solution, they're looking for an answer, they're looking for an opinion. You need to make sure that your content covers one of those three things, because if not, then they're going to go elsewhere and find what they're actually looking for. And since you're still watching this video, I can guarantee that you understand how important it is to rank for search on TikTok right now how much money you can make, and ultimately, how much you can grow on TikTok right now during the best time ever to be a TikTok creator, which is exactly why I wanna personally help you. In fact, I wanna look at your account and tell you everything you should be doing differently, what search terms you should try to rank for, what videos you should make, even what time you should post and what hashtags you should use. And on top of that, I wanna guarantee that I can help you grow quicker on TikTok in the next 30 days, like this creator that I helped gain over 500,000 followers in just 30 days, or this creator that I helped gain over 70,000 followers in a really short period of time. If you want results like that, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last for forever. And the only two things holding you back from getting the followers that you deserve right now on TikTok and the followers that you want is one, you haven't implemented the steps that I share with you in this video to help you get more followers. And two, you haven't gotten into my TikTok mentorship program yet where I literally am going to guarantee that I help you get more followers in the next 30 days or you get your money back zero questions asked. And the way that this works is I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you get more followers in the next 30 days. If that sounds interesting, and then please go to the link in the description below and get signed up right now. The average person that's gone through this program has gained over 50,000 followers and nobody has ever gone through it and gained less than 6,500 followers if they implemented everything that I share with them. And since you're still watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you're above average. So the odds of you gaining over 50,000 followers is probably quite high. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is gonna help you get more results faster and easier. If you're struggling right now to grow on TikTok, you need to get into this because every single day that you wait, it's it's only gonna get harder to grow. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're gonna get more followers on TikTok or you're gonna get your money back. In fact, this creator just went through this program and gained over 10 million followers. This creator, over 14 million. And this creator, over 16 million. And I want you to be my next success story. So please stop procrastinating, invest in yourself now and get the TikTok followers that ultimately you deserve. Or I strongly suggest you check out the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.